This is another question on minimal change disease, so let's go get through it a little bit faster. So this question says that an 8-year-old Caucasian male, again, this is an 8-year-old boy, as soon as it's 8-year-old, we are either thinking nephritic, we're thinking post-tryptococcal, nephrotic, we're thinking minimal change disease. So this patient has generalized edema, massive proteinuria, which tells him this, this is minimal change disease, after an episode of mild upper respiratory tract infection. That's the initial insult. His past medical history is non-contributory. Further analysis reveals that this patient's urine protein consists principally of albumin. So his urine only has albumin. And why, is, why does his urine only has albumin? Because of selective... Uh, Selectivity of the basement membrane, selective, uh, selective upholding. There is charge selectivity and size selectivity, and because of loss of loss of charge, there is going to be um, loss of charge of the basement membrane. Loss of negative charge of the basement membrane will be losing albumin through the through the basement membrane. So further analysis reveals that this patient urine protein consists principally of albumin with trace elements of IgG and alpha two macroglobin. Uh, globulin. The reason these are in trace elements because this, because those does not have a negative charge. They're just bigger. So very little is going to go through through those big pores. It's not because of charge, because of size. Which of the following most likely contributes to protein loss in this patient? Now, what is the question? The question says, which of the following contributes contributes to protein loss? A, glomerular basement membrane disruption. Basement membrane disruption. It's not really the disruption. It's more like the charge. So that not, that's not the right answer. B, glomerular crescent formation. There is no crescent formation in, in uh, minimal change. C, glomerular polyanion loss. Yes, polyanion has a, sorry, polyanion has a negative charge. So, that is my desired answer, polyanion loss. D, segmental glomerular hyalinosis. That seems like a focal segmental, so that is also not the desired answer. Choice E, tubular necrosis and epithelial shedding. That sounds like ATN, so this is not even minimal change disease. So the answer in this case is going to be glomerular polyanion loss. So let me expand a little bit on this polyanion loss hypothesis. Now there is a current hypothesis which says that minimal change disease is caused by a decrease in normal content of sialic acid. And sialic acid is a polyanion. So the basal membrane loses this sialic acid which causes the polyanion loss because sialic acid is, a poly is, is an anion which is lost from the basement membrane. So the subsequent loss of the negative charge causes a loss of the selective permeability of the glomerular basement membrane. So it loses that charge selectivity of the basement membrane. Um, and albumin is also anionically charged particles. Basement membrane is also anionically charged particles. So they usually repel each other. When the charge of the basement membrane is gone, we are left with no charge in the basement membrane, so there is no repelling, so albumin is easily lost through the pores of the endothelium.